we're going to take a look at the ring modulator on the Yamaha CS50. This is it here. These are not part of the ring modulator. These are further filter controls. But in any case, this is the sound we're currently working with. Kind of vaguely organ-like, but anyway. So the ring modulator, a ring modulator in general, is a situation where two frequencies are combined in such a way to generate the sum and differences of those frequencies. Um, it makes an interesting clangorous noise, and uh, it's relatively just weird until you add various modulation to it to get it to move. By changing the pitch of one of the signals, you generate uh, a vast complexity of results. And that's basically what a ring modulator is. In my understanding, there is an oscillator a dedicated oscillator for this ring modulator. So even though the Yamaha CS50 is a single oscillator synthesizer, there's a little oscillator in here specifically for this effect. We activate it by turning up modulation. Initially, it sounds like amplitude modulation. It's when we increase the speed that we start to hear the real effect. Now, incidentally, you could use this as amplitude modulation in combination with the amplitude modulation possible in other parts of the synthesizer. Um, so you could get two different tremolos happening at the same time, which is very interesting, but we're not gonna cover that right now. So as we increase the speed, Now we hear this bizarre clangorous sound. Bell-like. Even that on its own is interesting, usable, and weird. But there is a lot more to the ring modulator than that. First of all, we can always adjust the modulation amount. So you hear more of the original chord. It's kind of a mix of the original chord and this modulation. Used in moderation, you can just get a flavoring. A nice little distortion to fatten things up. But with it fully on, also you could have a slight amount with a slight amount of speed. just to give it a sort of surging change so you don't have that static tone. <laughs> 